the land of the polar nights where the light retracts. Despite the long darkness, Finland is not a place without any light. People resemble nature. The polar nights are covered by the northern lights. The long tunnel of winter of the polar nights was a natural part of Finland. Now I'm headed to southeastern Finland, a land of forests and lakes. The floating ice on the lake seems to tell the last tale of the glacier. The people enjoy the ice and the saunas of Finland that melt the winter lake. The lone wolf of northern Europe. I'm off to the land of forests and lakes. Finland is located on the Scandinavian peninsula, covered by glaciers, remnant from Earth's last ice age. The Finnish flag consists of white, which stands for snow, and blue, which stands for lake. Of those great lakes is a glacial lake region, Savonlinna. Savonlinna, which means castle of Savonia in Finnish, is located in the heart of the lake among a chain of islands surrounded by the lake. Lake Saima is Finland's largest hub for water transportation. You can walk around town on the bridges that connect the lakes with the island. Most of the country is flat. Countless lakes formed by the glaciers scatter throughout Finland. Lake Saima is the largest lake in Finland, measuring as large as Belgium. It is the fourth largest lake in Europe. A group of mallards come out for a lakeside stroll. The nearby residents feed the mallards. Hello. Excuse me. Nää on menettänyt sen tarpeen, mikä on niinku heillä niinku luonnossa on. Että tarve niinku muuttaa etelään, koska heillä on ruokaa täällä, niin ei mihin tästä nyt lähtemään. Mr. Mokonen began feeding the mallards two years ago. People have been feeding the mallards long before, and that's how the animals stayed at the lake. It's in their nature to migrate to a warmer place during winter, but the food people provide mustn't be the only reason they stay. Once you settle some place for a long time, it becomes your home. Perhaps the mallards feel the same way. From the name Sovanlina, which contains the Finnish word for castle, there is a beautiful castle on the lake. Olavenlina Castle was built in the 15th century, and it is one of the most beautiful castles in Europe. Olavenlina Castle was built on a rock island in the center of the lake. The castle was built to defend eastern Finland when the country was under Swedish rule during the 15th century. It took 20 years just to finish building this castle. After being under the rule of Sweden and Russia, it became Finland's castle when the country gained its independence in 1917. The name of the castle means St. Olaf's Castle. It was named after the Norwegian king and Catholic saint, St. Olaf. This statue represents St. Olaf, 
who was the very first northern uh, king, uh, a Viking and Christian king. And he was also known to be the patron of soldiers. So when they founded a new war castle, it was normal to give it a, a name after some kind of uh, patron of, of soldiers. During his time, Olaf was considered a saint in Sweden and Finland. Naming the castle after him came from the desire to protect this land. I heard there is a place at the top of the castle tower that all visitors must see. So this is the medieval toilet. Nomination of this toilet in Finnish is privetti. Uh, we have also some etymological jokes about that. Uh, in uh, Eastern or in Western languages, it might be like uh, private, like in English. But in Russian, privet means uh, hello or greeting. So you can interpret it in, in very different ways if you wish. During the time when Finland was at war with Russia, there were awkward oh. moments in the restrooms. One can see below through the hole on the floor. People would do their business and say hello to their Russian enemies. Once you climb up to the lookout tower, you can see the wide open lake. It is a spectacular sightseeing, the sunrise on the lake, on top of the lookout tower. The castle protects the lake as a fortress of the lake. Now I'm going to look around Lake Saima. Hello. Hello. It is said 120 different lakes make up Lake Saima. A cruise ship in Savanlina tours the two largest lakes. It takes about an hour. It's the largest freshwater lake area in Europe. And we have uh, uh, more than 14,000 islands on Lake Saima. And it's more than uh, 500 kilometers from south to north. The coastline of Lake Saima measures up to 15,000 kilometers. Ola van Lina Castle, seen from the lake, reveals its majesty of having protected the lake for over 530 years. The castle seen from the lake is magnificent. Lake Saima flows through the canal to the southeastern region, flowing into the Gulf of Finland. The vast amounts of islands created by glaciers are bridges that connect the islands. The islands scattered in the lake create a maze, and it acts as a waterway that connects major cities. From the city of Punkaharju, Savolina, I head to Eska Ridge, which is known as the most beautiful street in Finland. Like a tunnel made out of trees, the street of pine groves is seven kilometers long. I could not just pass by Eska Ridge. A big monument stands on the side of the road. Engraved on the monument is a verse of a poem written by Runeberg, Finland's national poet from the 19th century, praising this ridge. Esker Ridge is a road that connects the islands. It is also an attraction of Finland. It is the road most loved by the Finnish.
Voi hyvänen aika, tämähän on historiallinen jääkauden aikana syntynyt harjumuorostelma. Ja täällä on aivan ihanat, siis puhtaat vedet, tosi puhtaat vedet, pihlaja vesi, puruvesi. The beautiful road of Esker Ridge is so beautiful that even a 19th century Russian king built a cottage here. I walk on the road that a glacier left behind thousands of years ago. It's a natural road created by forests and lakes. Eska Ridge embraces an endless number of islands and lakes on both sides. The lakes and islands create a huge waterway. Ten thousand years ago, Finland was a place covered by glaciers. After Earth's last ice age, the glaciers began to melt and the sea level rose. It divided into the vast amount of lakes and islands. This is how the nation of over 18,000 lakes was created. What does the lake look like below Esker Ridge? I decided to walk to the bottom of the road. The path is steeper than it seems from above. The site of Eska Ridge, surrounded by the frozen lakes, makes me reminisce about the past in the fluttering snow. The lake will probably go into a deep sleep during the long winter as a huge frozen land. The wind begins to blow and it starts to snow on the peaceful lake. Is it the wind coming from the North Pole? The wind is very strong. The goddess of the lake seems to be giving an unfamiliar traveler a taste of the ice age. The floating ice flow in the direction of the wind. It seems like a reenactment of an ocean and lakes separating after the Ice Age. The lake repeatedly froze and melted from glacier to lake for thousands of years. As if letting out the rough breath of time gone by, the lake leaves a strong impression on this foreigner. That evening, I am invited to join a family living on the outskirts of Savanlina for dinner. They greet the unfamiliar foreigner cheerfully. They are preparing traditional Finnish food. Some fish called muikku inside this bread. 
Finnish fish, called muiku, caught in the lake is the main ingredient. There are many other ingredients besides fish. Pork is used instead of oil to keep the whole wheat dough from drying. The pork and fish are placed on top of the dough. Rice is put on top of the fish to soak in the moisture. When all the ingredients are added, the whole wheat dough is folded over. In Finland, where there are many lakes, many people enjoy kalakuko. When people went to cut wood or to the lake to fish, they satisfied their hunger with kalakuko. I guess you can call it a Finnish snack. Kalakuko is a slow cooked food that takes at least two hours to make. These days, most people usually buy it at the store. The stuffed ingredients flow out once you cut it with a knife. I expect it to have a fishy taste, but it wasn't fishy at all. Raima expresses the taste with his entire body. Kalakuko, a winter dish of the lakeside town. I feel the simple wisdom and warmth of Finland in the taste and care that went into making it. Someone described Finland as the lone wolf of northern Europe. I think it's fitting with the people of the land surrounded by lakes. For hunters who relied on the forest for survival, the forest were a godlike existence to them. The first settlers of the forests of Lake Saima were hunters. They made forests on the frozen lands serving the forest spirit, tapio. Shisu means having persistence, to not give up no matter what the circumstances. I felt the Shisu spirit of the Finnish people in the lakes and forests of Finland. I make my way back from the Finnish forest. <laughs> Hi, bye bye. Hello, bye bye. Yeah. is splitting the firewood to be stored in the woods. It's going to be used for his sauna. Smoke sauna, we use the, this type of special wood, it's called leppa. And normally we cut it two years in advance, then we just let it dry. And it's extremely dry when it 
when we use it. It's very important for the smoke sauna. There is a good distribution of birch, pine and alder trees in Finland. Wood with strong scents are used for smoke saunas. <laughs> Wherever you go in Finland, you'll always find a sauna near wooden cottages. Now we need to carry the wood and take it to the sauna. The young daughters are good with carrying the wood. Having grown with the trees close to them, they were very familiar with the trees. Sauna is a Finnish word. It was a way to survive the long winters, and it has been a sacred space for the Finnish for thousands of years. Sauna was a warm place in winter time when it was cold, and it, it was a clean place, so people gave birth, and then on the other hand, when the people died, then in the sauna we washed the bodies. So that was kind of a ritual for us that, that the, the body was, was cleaned. Mentally and, and physically, of course. The smoke sauna is the most traditional way of enjoying a sauna. The soot acts as a purification system to prevent germs from growing. When we make the fire, all the smoke comes through the, the stones over here and then it will, will go out from the wall which is on the back side. Just 100 years ago, the saunas in Finland were all smoke saunas. Instead of a chimney, the smoke came out through the vent. Once the smoke is out, you can enjoy the sauna. As the fire is lit, the smoke rises through the gaps between the stones. It takes about eight hours just to prepare a smoke sauna. It all seems like a game for the children, who have enjoyed the sauna since they were young. Yeah, it comes, it gets to your eyes. But then when it's, when it's ready, there's no smoke inside and it's really soft. And it's only during the heating time, uh -huh. and then it's finished. Mm -hmm. After heating the sauna for about four hours, and then letting out the smoke for about another four hours, you can enjoy the traditional Finnish smoke sauna. In the summer, the lake becomes a playground. And in the winter, the snow-covered forests become the playground in Finland. The forests and lakes seemed like a big backyard for the people of Finland. <laughs> Teletuva runs a farm continued by three generations. He's taking the bread somewhere. This one is just the leftovers from the buns and different type of bread. He says it's old bread, but it looks tasty to me. I am hungry, so I have a taste. Who is he giving the bread to? It is bread for the cows being raised at the farm. It must not be the first time. They receive it well. I want to eat more, but I give it to the cows. Cows eating bread, seeing it for the first time is a strange sight. Teletuva's family chose to live near the lake rather than in the city. The simple refreshments complement Finland nicely. We decide to get away from the cold for a while. 
They serve me honey tea, which the people of Finland enjoy. I feel my body and heart get warm. Now it's really the starting start of the winter, so it's basically the first snow that we got here yesterday. And we're really happy with that. Winter. It's nice to go just walking okay. on the ice, on the lake, or go ice fishing and things like that. I feel peaceful watching Teletuva and his wife, as if I were looking at the forests and lakes of Finland. There are cottages where there are forests and lakes. I'm on my way to a cottage right now. Boats are anchored as it's winter. In the summer, the Finnish ride boats in the lake and enjoy saunas at the cottage. However, there are many things you can enjoy in the Finnish winter lakes. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? We are planning to go on the week ice. Right? Really? Yeah. Oh, Swimming. Swimming? Yeah. So winter. Cold. The swimmers put on what looked like red spacesuits. They swim with these suits on. I can train? Yes, yes, yes. We have a one suit for you. Okay. I am actually very doubtful that I will be able to swim. I look like a person from the Center for Disease Control. I feel a little bit afraid to go in the freezing lake. I really turn into a duck. I swim floating in the water. Every year the people of Finland have a contest for ice swimming. That's how much they enjoy ice swimming. Water floating, where you wear a cold protection suit and swim floating in the water is a new sport. A thin layer of ice forms over the suit. We look like dead bodies floating on the winter lake, floating in the lake. If I let myself relax in the lake, I will be able to float all the way to the ocean to the Gulf of Finland. That evening, I decided to try out the sauna I didn't get to experience the day before. Very big snow here, it's very big size. It seems a little bit different from the traditional smoke sauna. It is an electric sauna. Water is poured over the stones heated through electricity in order to raise the temperature. The water is poured over the stones repeatedly until the temperature reaches 70 degrees Celsius. Moist hot air is coming to you and it will open your pores to your skin and you start to... I enjoy the sauna with the brothers who went swimming. I feel the heat as we pour the water. Sweat flows from all over my body as I begin to feel relaxed.
뭐라 그럴까 따뜻하고 서서히 긴장감도 살짝 풀리면서 여행의 여독도 풀리는 것 같습니다. After the sauna, people cool down in the ice holes in the lake. Fortunately, we substitute it with some cold water. After the sauna, people in Finland cook sausages over a wood fire. When I was a little boy, my father used to grill me these sausages after sauna, almost every time after sauna. I myself have a boy, he's now 10 months old and he started to go sauna when he was 2 months old. In Finland, it is said sausage is more expensive than beef. The sauna culture, which began thousands of years ago, continued through generations and it has become a culture worldwide. If you want to befriend Finnish people, who are known to be quiet and very shy in a short amount of time, I recommend going to a sauna together. The Finland sauna was a place of rest and socialization. The reason why the winter forests and lakes of Finland are not cold is because there is a sauna and there are the Finnish who will become your friends at the sauna. This is the last stop on my third day. The long darkness of winter approaches southeastern Finland. It's the world's largest wooden church, Karamaki Church. The church holds a total of 3,000 people. The wood floors look as if they are made of granite. It has a depth that makes it look flawless, even when compared to granite. The wood from the forest became a work of art like this. The people living in the forest are the Finnish people. Suo means lake, and mi means land. Suomi. The Finnish like calling their country the Republic of Suomi more than the Republic of Finland. It is because their country is a land of forests and lakes. <laughs>